Hey everyone, welcome to MacBreak Studio. My name is Travis Richmond, and I'm the lead editor here at Ripple Training. Because a lot of my work involves working with audio, Steve asked me to do a video on automated dialogue replacement, or ADR. ADR, for those of you unfamiliar with the term, is the process of re-recording an actor's line in a controlled studio environment. But why would you need to do this? Well, perhaps your talent's line was marred by a jet passing by, or a piece of gear failed, or maybe the actor just gave a bad line reading. In any case, a scene can often be saved by an ADR session, and DaVinci Resolve's Fairlight page makes this a fairly simple process. And if you like this video, please check out my full DaVinci Resolve Fairlight tutorial available at rippletraining.com. There's a link and a discount code below. Now, on to the tutorial. Here I have open a scene from a short comedy horror film. I'm going to play the short section where we hear the two actors interact. You try the big key? Yeah. Uh, let's hope maybe the big key. It's not the big key. Did we lose him? Let's say that the director is not happy with how the actor in the background, that's Dave, delivered his first line. Did you try the big key? I'll start by opening the ADR panel and then choose setup. We need to choose a record source, but it's currently grayed out. Next, I need to choose what track to record into. The menu presents a list of all my available tracks. As you can see, I've taken the time to name all my tracks by the character names and I've created a dedicated track called ADR. I'll choose that. Next, choose from the record source menu which microphone or audio interface you'll be using. You can use any connected microphone. However, to keep things simple, I'm going to use the built-in mic on my iMac Pro. Resolve automatically patches the mic and track for you. You can see this if you open the patch input output window. Here we see my built-in mic patched to the ADR track. Return to the ADR panel. The pre and post roll parameters let you choose the amount of lead in and lead out time for the recording. For this example, choose 3 seconds of pre-roll and 1 second of post. For the record file name, type in did you try, which is the start of the line. Below that is the character setup area, which you can use to set up organization based on each character in a project. Click the add new button, then type Dave and press return or enter. Below that are a series of toggles to activate or deactivate various recording aids. The only aids we need for this exercise are Count In and Video Streamer. Now that we have that out of the way, we need to add cues so that Resolve will know where to start and stop recording. Go to the List tab. Before we add a cue, we need to define its range. I'll enable the range selection mode by selecting it in the toolbar, and then I'll select the first clip in the Dave track to set a range. I'll then switch back to the selection mode by pressing A on the keyboard. Now, click New Cue in the ADR panel. Resolve now recognizes that whatever we record cannot exceed these in and out points, so we won't have to worry about unintentionally overriding anything. Additionally, you can manually enter the time code for the in and out points, if you prefer to work that way. The new cue will automatically be selected in the cue list below, allowing you to type the script in the dialog field and assign it to a character. Go ahead and type, did you try the big key? And assign it to Dave. This may seem like a lot of work for one little line, but when you're dealing with multiple characters and many lines, this is incredibly valuable and will help the recording session run much more smoothly. What would be even more valuable is having an assistant who can generate a thorough cue list for you. If you are blessed in that manner, under the options menu, the import and export cue list commands will be your new best friends. For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll do just this one line. Now click on the record tab. Then detach the viewer and close the meters. With the cue selected, click the rehearse button. In the viewer, you will now see the line, a countdown timer, and a visual indicator of when to start reading the line. Basically, you have the whole package right here in front of you, letting you know what to say and when to say it. This rehearse button is your free chance to practice. 
After you've practiced and have the timing and delivery figured out, select the clip you want to replace and press the D key to disable it. Then click the record button to get a take in the can. Did you try the big key? Yeah. If you feel you need to do multiple takes, you can click record again and again until you've got a good take. Did you try the big key? Yeah. Did you try the big key? Yeah. When you have a few takes recorded, click the R button to disarm the track. These takes are stored as audio track layers. So go to the view menu and enable show audio track layers. Now it's just a matter of listening for the best take. The top track layer takes priority over others. So it is the one you will hear on playback. Did you try the big key? To hear a different take, hold the shift key and drag it up. Did you try the big key? When you find the best one, delete all the other takes. These takes are also available in the media pool if you need to access them. Right click on one of your takes in the timeline. Then choose Find in Media Pool to quickly locate your recordings. Let's disable track layers. Go to the View menu and hide the audio track layers. Now you know how to record ADR in Fairlight. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you'd like to be notified when we post new ones, click the bell. Thanks for watching.